this video, we're going to talk about Medicare Supplement Plan N. Should I enroll in Medicare Supplement Plan N? We're going to touch on a couple key features and how they're different between some of the other Medicare supplemental plans, like some of the popular ones you may have heard of, or Plan F and Medicare Supplement Plan G. So one of the main differences that you're going to see uh, between N and G specifically is the copays after the Part B deductible. So the Plan N doesn't cover the Part B deductible or Medicare excess charges. You can go to the description to check out our video on the excess charges as well. So Medicare Supplement Plan N, this is the chart of all the Medicare supplements. You can see that for Part A services, um, you know, you're not really going to have any cost for covered benefits. That's the same as G and F. Where you're going to see a distinction is for Medicare Part B, you're going to have the Part B deductible that's 233 per year. And then after that deductible, you're going to pay up to $20 at the doctor and $50 at the ER. That ER copay is waived if you're admitted. Now, one thing about the copay, it's 20% up to $20. So what does that mean? If the bill is less than 20 bucks, you're just gonna pay the 20%. Doctors get paid off four levels of complexity. This is how a family physician would bill Medicare. So these are the different levels of complexity, straightforward, low, moderate, and high. The most common level of complexity that's billed is low complexity. The first one, straightforward complexity, that's usually a brief visit. And you know, it's not regularly used by physicians. So for that level though, typically, you know, a physician might get paid around 50 bucks, right? So what does that mean? Medicare would pay $40, $10.17 would be billed to the patient. This example is taken out of uh, California. It is slightly different based on service areas across the country, but we're not talking about a huge difference. So the low complexity, this is the most common code, all right? So typically the doctors would get paid a total of around 83 bucks. So 66 for Medicare, 16 and change from the patient. What you'll find is not all doctors are even going to bill this. Now they're supposed to. You're supposed to pay the up to 20. So in this case, it would be $16.62. My point is it's not always 20 bucks. Okay. These other two moderate and high complexity, the bill is going to be over 20 bucks. So you just pay the $20 at the doctor. So the amount of Medicare beneficiaries that enrolled in plan N in 2021 is 36 and percent. And this number is on the rise. Typically you're going to find that people will enroll in plan N that don't go to the doctor as often. They want to save on the premiums. The premium difference between G and N can be anywhere, depending on your state, 20 to 40 bucks. If people are enrolling in Plan N that are generally healthier, what that does, it stabilizes the risk pool. There's not as many claims. So when there's not as many claims, the rates go up by lower amounts. Uh, if typically people that are not quite as healthy that go to the doctor a lot are going to enroll in Plan G, then often the rates are going to go up by higher amounts theoretically. So plan N might be a great option for you, especially if you don't go to the doctor that often, or if you're looking for rate stability. I always tell people all the carriers that offer plan G or plan N, the coverage is exactly the same because the plans are standardized. The differences come in with the value added services and how the rates are raised over time or the rate stability. So typically, you want to choose a carrier that has uh, a lot of insured people, a stable risk pool, and that for you could be plan N. So if this information was helpful, if you can go to our channel, hit the subscribe button. If you could like the video, that helps other people in your situation get the same information. We appreciate you tuning in. Thanks.